Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at Patch My PC version 4. We haven't done this video in a few years, so I thought we'd take a look at how it works now. It's a little bit different. And it is a portable executable. That means all you have to do is double click PatchMyPC.exe. And that's it. It will keep a Patch My PC log right here, as you can see. So wherever you execute it, you'll find the log of anything that happened while you run it. You can see it updated definitions, etc. So let's look at how it works. That's the most important part. It's very, very easy. Three apps to install, six to nine up to date. That means I have nine apps installed that Patch My PC recognizes, and here they all are. That is the nine that it can update for me. Over here is your 300 or so apps, and you could start typing in whatever you want. Uh, you could say MICR for Microsoft, for example. That's not working. Let's see. Well, Java. There you go. And you can kind of find anything that has to do with Java in there. But the neat thing about it is in these 300 apps, which may not seem like a lot because there's millions and millions of apps out there, but he's pretty much got the 1%. So the neat thing about it is, as you can see, you're colored for green, red, not installed. So let's say I wanted to install, there's so much good stuff in here. So he's got the top 1%. One tenth of one percent, really. You could pick almost anything out of here. See here, as you notice here on the left too, that it'll show you the color as well to match what you're seeing over here. So let's say malware bytes any exploit, you'll notice it automatically went to four apps to install. That means your perform four updates when you click it is going to install malware bytes anti exploit. So this is a nice way to find apps that you may not have heard of, some miscellaneous, some gaming stuff. Expand that back open. Some portable apps, which is always my favorite. The oh and oh, shut up. Specky, this is all well known. If you're a computer geek, we would call it a household name. All right, so let's go ahead and update for starters. Three apps to install. Perform three updates. So we'll be updating Driver Booster, Malware Bytes, and WinRAR. We get a lot of comments from people too when we update malware bytes. They say, well, my program didn't update. It might just be the definition file. So malware bytes may update their executable, but they don't, you wouldn't even know this, they don't necessarily tell you why, and that's because they updated the current definition. So let's perform the three updates. And it'll just sit here and wait for it to go. While we're waiting, which is kind of neat, you can walk away and have lunch or get a cup of coffee or do whatever you want, no big deal. You see how quick that was? There's none, none of these numerous pop-ups. You don't have to download the app. You don't have to do anything. Just tell it, update it. So we'll let that roll. Here's your options now there. It's a little overwhelming for the first time. So if you're not sure, just line your mouse over it. And it doesn't seem to be working while I'm doing something else, which is not unusual. You can see the updater going on in the background. So we'll flip back and show you this. You can see the app updated and started the program. So you're going to get some of that on some apps because that's the behavior of the app when you update. So no big deal. Uninstaller. So here's another neat little option here. You can uninstall stuff. Let's jump back over here and just see how it's doing. It's downloading malware bytes now. So your uninstaller works similarly. One word I've always had a hard time with. And you can find all your apps right here. And typically when installed, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you have your scheduler. So that allows you to just go ahead and run this whenever you want, which is kind of neat as well. And again, it's, eh, I hate to say overwhelming, but there's quite a bit going on in a lot of these options and a lot going on in the scheduler. But just take your time one time. Remember, it's going to save you so much trouble later that, you know, pick when and how and the times what you want it to do. Let's see how our updates are going. Malware Bytes is going slow. Let's try and uninstall something. Let's see, Glider Sim, I thought I uninstalled that. Let's see what it does. I don't know if it's going to be happy about doing two things at once. So it's going to pull Steam up because that particular game is in Steam. I don't like it, so I can install, uninstall it if I want. I just don't know how well Patch My PC multitasks. So let's go over here. Oops, to Apps. There we go. So now it's doing a silent update of Malwarebytes in the background. Here comes Steam. So it is multitasking. 
ask me if I want to uninstall the selected titles. A little tough because it's not really showing me. Let's take a leap of faith. Let's see here. As you can see, a list of my games here. Where'd it go? Should be under virtual reality, so it should have uninstalled it. So it'll be in my library somewhere now. Flying Hero right there. It still says play. So let's see here if I right click, manage. Still let me uninstall. So let's give Patch My PC a minute to do its thing. That's one of the problems you might have is that you're only going to do one thing at a time. All right, so Patch My Update is complete. Let's take a look again. Now we can show you this. You can change the colors. There's a lot you can do in here that you can just ignore. For example, visual options is probably something you can skip. A lot of it you can skip. So if you don't want a log file, and again, let's say you can see it working. Line your mouse over if you don't know what it is and take a second and read it. And once again, it's worth that little bit of time to see what you're doing. So let's go back to the uninstaller. Here's Flying Hero. Let's try it a second time. I don't think this is working. Maybe it's something with Steam. Oh, it did work. Now it says install. There we go. All right, so again, as I said, it went in the background. I just got impatient. If you ever watch my videos, you know that I talk a little fast. I move a little fast. This is me in slow motion. But there you have it. So I'll tell you where it's great. It's just an idea to look through if you're looking for apps to do certain things. Maybe you're looking for a new browser. Here's all your top browsers right there figured out for you. Save you a lot of work. You can agree or disagree, but these are it. Brave, Chrome. I don't use Max that much anymore. Firefox, Firefox Extended, Opera, Pale Moon, Vivaldi, and Waterfox. Multimedia. Let's see, they got VLC in here. Got to have VLC in there, right? A little slow moving here. There it is. So there's all your popular multimedia apps. It's, it's pretty neat. File archivers, no brainer. Most of you reading along at home, watching along at home, will know that those are probably the three most popular ones. Utilities, eight gadget packs, just great. So it's one of those things you can kind of go through. And the only problem I'd like to see them change is, let's say you wanted to browse software. Unless you know what it is, it's not going to tell you. So I know what Bleach Bit is. It's got Privisor in here. God, it moves slow, huh? You got to kind of drag it. There it is. So I know what that is. I have it installed as a portable app. So I wonder if it didn't detect it correctly. So there you have it. But what it doesn't tell you is what it is. So if you happen to be looking through utilities and you're curious, a little mouse over tell you what it is would be a real nice feature for this. Probably take him a while since he's got 300 of them in there. But just a short description over here would be nice. And don't forget this as well. Just reminded myself as I went. Let's say I'd like to find something I don't really care for, but boy, it's a really great list he's got here. There, now she's scrolling good. Let's say Winamp. Right click, and you don't want it to scan. You can disable silent installation, disable auto updating, add to as an auto install, which is nice. So if you, it's again, it's portable. So if you back that folder out later, you are able to save that and add it as an auto install for later. Kind of neat. So if you happen to reinstall or use Reset My PC. So there you go. Patch My PC is pretty cool. As I said, it used to start out with just a handful of apps. It's expanded to 300 apps. Uninstaller, scheduler, and I guarantee you're going to dig it. It's one of the popular apps on Major Geeks, and it's a five-star app all day long. Bottom right-hand corner, click subscribe. Do what you want. Thanks for watching, though. We do appreciate that. See you.